So PVAC sacked, Gatlin back, what's the crack? And I thought you were going to score. Ask a better question, you get a better answer. Oh, sure. Sure. Hi guys, welcome back. So reacting to the breaking news that Wayne Pivak has been sacked and Warren Gatland is back. The prodigal son returns. Can he turn Wales around in time for the World Cup? Not long to go. So it's all happening this week. And rumours as well that maybe Eddie Jones is facing the same way for England. So we'll see how that goes. But talking about Wales here, Pivak, he's won 13 out of 34 tests and on the side there are the autumn international results and last season's results. Maybe the straw that broke the camel's back of those historic losses to Georgia and then to Italy in the Six Nations before that. I don't know. The year before he had actually won the Six Nations, but his overall record isn't great. But of course, it's risky getting rid of your head coach so close to the World Cup. But certainly from the comments on the videos that I've been reading, most of the Welsh fans had thought it's time for PVAC to go. They just weren't progressing. It's going to be really interesting to see if Gatlin can turn this around. Now, when Gatlin was removed the first time by the WRU, definitely the Welsh public, there was some feeling they were a bit tired of the basic game plan, the Warren Ball, that had brought them so much success. And they wanted a bit of what Wayne PVAC might be able to bring what they saw with the Scarlets, a more expansive, a more traditionally Welsh style maybe. And initially, Pivac went for that style quite early, I'd say in summary, and it didn't work because he kind of ignored the basics. Then they went a bit more conservative and back to basics and did okay. Now, what's interesting is actually recently in the Autumn Internationals, they're definitely trying to get a balance between the physical and the expansive, but they were making far too many errors, some psychological brittleness, shown obviously against Georgia especially. Now the question is of course with Gatlin coming back can he do any better? Is the talent there for him to do better? Well certainly he's got one Six Nations and then the Rugby World Cup warm-up matches to get World Cup ready. Will he bring back a famous version of the Warren Ball if you like? There's not long to go so maybe that does line up quite well. Certainly as someone coming in at the last minute Gatlin is a good choice. He knows the setup. He knows the players coming back in it makes sense if you're going to do that change for him to be the new coach. Maybe, just as a thought, Big Joe Hawkins, the 20-year-old centre, could he be the next Jamie Roberts to launch Warren Gatlin's game plan? That's interesting. But when Gatlin started getting success the first time, he had a lot of very, very good players, a lot of world-class players. He had a, a dead-eye goal kicker in Leave Halfpenny, and when big as fit, yep, he's pretty good at that as well. But also Gatlin had a perfectly balanced centre partnership, the Roberts and the Davis partnership, the big boy Roberts who was converted from a full back and the all rounder Jonathan Davis, amazing defender and a great attacker. It was just perfect. They had probably one of the quickest wings in the world at the time in Shane Williams. They had a perfectly balanced back row in Lydiot making the tackles, Warburton with the turnovers, Falatau with the carries and the wide work and Justin Tipperick couldn't even get in the team at that point. They had Alan Wynne Jones in his prime in the second row. They had a rock of a scrummager in Adam Jones. They had a modern all round the park prop in Gethin Jenkins. And will Gatland have that sort of talent now? I'm not sure he does. So I think it's going to be tough. Of course, there's other things to be put in place. We'll see who his assistant coaches are as well. The Six Nations is obviously going to be the barometer to how he's looking. He hasn't got much time to put his game plan into action. If he's going to make any selection changes, that'll be very interesting. So this is a quite a quick reaction to the news. I'd love to know what you guys think, how Gatlin's going to play. Is he going to make some selection changes? Do you think it's the right call? Pop all those comments below and I'll catch you next time.